What's going on everybody? I hope each and every one of you are doing fantastic. So in this video, we're gonna go over on how to professionally wire your RC helicopter. So we're gonna go over wiring this model. So the first thing is first, we need to figure out placement. So we're gonna run our icon here. We're running an icon 2 HD and we are running an SRXL2 satellite. And we're also gonna run a DSMX satellite. So we went ahead and marked our servos, one, two, and three. And now we need to figure out what we're going to do we'll with be everything. shortening our wires. So we are going to need a couple things. We need a set of crimpers, ratcheting crimpers with th different sizes. And we need a set of servo plugs. The 900 kit off Amazon, there is the part number. So I have my servo ends. I have my crimpers. You will also different need different pairs of little side bites. They're old, but they work we'll also great. We need a couple different rounds of heat shrink here the most common size i use is 3 16th i buy a hundred foot roll of it at a time because i cover all of my servo wires in heat shrink a variety pack from harbor freight a bunch of different sizes and then a roll of half inch for doing multiple wires and it started with covering our wires and heat shrink so i went ahead and got the throttle done got the second and third servo done and then we still need to heat shrink them down and then cover the governor wire and heat shrink I'm gonna go ahead, of course, wrap it this way, wrap these, and then we'll put a nice little junction here to wrap all these wires into one. And then we're gonna shorten this wire, put a new end on it here, so that way if we ever have to pull the engine for whatever reason, we can just take the wire cover, pull the engine, and we so are So once you go. cover your wires and heat shrink, you want to use a little bit of heat, you can make them mold to whatever shape you want. When the wire cools, it'll pretty much hold that shape. So use a little bit of double-sided tape to help stick the wire down and keep it in place. But our throttle now runs around the clutch fan and into our junction here. So servo one and three will run back. And then now we will have a plug right here. So we just take the cover off. We need to shorten this guy so they can stagger from each other. So we'll cut it back here, add a connector here, cover that in heat shrink, and then run a power wire because our receiver pack goes on the front. So we figured out our servo routing. Well, now we need to figure out our elevator servo. So we have decided it's going to run down. We're going to cover it all in heat shrink. We're going to bring it into this junction right here. So this will be a big piece of half inch heat shrink that covers all these wires. We're going to shorten this wire and we went ahead and we marked this wire where we need it. So we're going to cut this off and crimp on it. ahead and stripped our wires. We have our servo plugs ready. We have our servo ends ready and we have our crimper ready. So we're going to crimp on it. And we just got done crimping our new servo ends in place. So we went ahead, we made up a extension for our governor and an extension for our throttle. So we're gonna heat shrink this wire down and then move on to the rudder servo which is gonna come up and it'll be a nice direct run, shorten it down. So we went ahead, shortened our rudder servo. We're gonna route it up this way. And then we just ran a wire that is going to be for the onboard glow driver that we stuck down here. So we're gonna crimp new ends on that. It will follow this main harness going into channel two like this and we can heat shrink everything Since down. we are running an SRXL2, we need to make a little adapter. So we need to go from the four wire, as you can see, I already removed the gray wire, and we need to go to a servo plug to our channel three of our icon. So if you have Spectrum and you are running an SRXL2, to do this is the black wire is ground, and then your orange wire now h1 can be different so just remember the wire next to the black is positive and the wire on the end is going to be signal so it'll be ground power signal now the colors may change depending on right, when you so we got made. the srxl2 done up we got all of our servos pretty much where they're going to go we got our rudder servo ran up and in now the next thing is figuring out the switch so we have our switch and I think placement's gonna go here. So I'm gonna cut that out there, mount the switch. We can run the wires up and through, plug under here, and then we can move on to using our junction heat shrink that will cover all of these wires and make all of this look we nice. We went ahead and got our little junction piece of heat shrink here just to kind of keep all of our wires real nice and neat. Everything is plugged in, our switch is down there. Got a hole in the frame right here to mount the switch. So we have off and on. Went ahead and ran our rx power to xt60 and it comes up and around and it runs to the hd port of the icon so now we can go ahead and take our cover and get that done so here we have everything wired up nice and clean we got our wire cover ran our last step 
is to make sure that these wires don't go anywhere. So what I like to use is this stuff right here. You get it on Amazon, it is a fabric paint. And I just go along here and run a nice bead across all of my connectors. And that will glue the plugs into place, but can come back off again if now we are completely done with our wiring. We got our satellite added. Everything is secured. Our glue has dried, our fabric paint. So this is how I personally wire my models. So I hope this video has helped some of you guys, gave you some ideas how to get a nice clean wiring job. So I wanna thank you so much for watching. Take care and have a great day.